Welcome to the evolution of Initial D games. If you like this video, don't forget to let me know by liking, subscribing, or leaving a comment. Thanks. 1998, Initial D Gaiden. This game was released before the anime's first season. The original air date for the first episode was April 8th, while Gaiden was released on March 6th, 1998, of course. There's 12 cars, 6 courses, and 3 different stories to choose from. For a Game Boy title, it sure didn't lack content. And we stay in 1998 for the second title, which is Initial D Kodo Saisoku Densetsu, Call Me Name Butcher. Released just three months after Gaiden, this game looks and feels much better. There's a classic story, a bunch of characters to beat, but only nine cars and four courses to complete, probably because of the fabulous graphics. Nineteen ninety nine Initial D. Yes, they didn't go too creative with the title, so this one is commonly known as the Initial D PS1 version. And boy, was this one a banger! It dropped shortly after the anime's first season and it exploded. An average rating of 4.7 out of 5 helped it move up the ranks at the time. Also, just look at the cover. In 1999, this was enough for young boys to start producing adrenaline. 2001 Initial D Arcade Stage. They skipped the year 2000 to get to the beginning of the Legendary series. This game was a proper banger, and that's why it got so many sequels, which we'll see in this video. You could choose to drive one of the 24 cars on one of the four famous Togays against all the characters in the anime. 2002. Initial D, another stage. This Game Boy exclusive was, uh, different. Instead of actually driving your car, you control it like a turn-based RPG. It surely is a rare breed of a racing genre, and it's goofy enough to be included in this video. 2002. And again we stay in 2002 for the sequel of Arcade Stage. Sega started a trend of making these games sort of like FIFA makes theirs. As the anime seasons kept rolling in, Sega just updated the graphics and added new cars and new characters. 2003, Initial D Special Stage. This is one of the few games which Sega developed for platforms other than Sega's. This is the only PS2 adaptation of Initial D and it wasn't half bad actually. With an average rating of 4.5 out of 5, it actually did decently well. 2004, Initial D Mountain Vengeance. This game is Initial D's first and only take on making a game for PC. And spoiler alert, it's a disaster. You can see the wonky controls, the horrible graphics, the everything. It received an average rating of 2.1 out of 5, which is the worst rating for any Initial D game out there. I played it myself, and I must admit it controls so bad I barely got past the first race. <laughs> 2004 for an extra game, and this one is actually good. Initial D Arcade Stage 3 is yet another sequel to the already popular series. As I've already mentioned, it just featured more cars, this time 34, 9 courses and better AI and graphics. 2006 Initial D Street Stage this is a PSP game, which is considered to be a console port of Arcade Stage 3. Similarly to Mountain Vengeance, it cannot be called a success, with an average rating of 3.5 out of 5. Yeah, PSP games never slap that hard anyway. 2007, Initial D Arcade Stage 4. This is the last arcade stage to support English localization. Apparently these games weren't as popular outside of Japan as in it. It also features fewer cars, this time 27 and only 6 courses. I wonder why that's the case. 2008 Initial D Extreme Stage a PlayStation 3 entry in the Initial D series was expected after the success of the PS1 and PS2 versions. Featuring the same amount of cars as Arcade Stage 4 and a very similar story, it is again considered just a console port. 2009 Initial D Arcade Stage 5 
Again, the same formula. This time they settled on 31 cars and 6 courses, very similar to the previous games. They just updated the story based on the new episodes in the anime. Two thousand and eleven Initial D Arcade Stage Six AA. I don't know why the AA, but whatever. <laughs> Again, an upgrade of the previous version. This one even had a snowy course, which was new to the series. You could choose from 10 courses and 37 cars, and it seemed that Sega had found a passion for the series again. It was like a dying flame that showered in gasoline. Twenty twelve Initial D Arcade Stage 7AAX Yeah, I don't know what's up with those letters, but... <laughs> As you can see, these two last games are looking very, very pretty. The newly restored passion can be felt here, as the game just handles way better and your choice of 17 courses and 42 different cars is much bigger than in previous games. 2014 Initial D Arcade Stage 8 Infinity I must be boring you with these already, so let's just say the stuff and move on. 16 courses, 49 cars, people love it and they play it to this day. 2014 again, Initial D, Perfect Shift Online. As the name suggests, this was an online game which was actually free to play. It never got outside Japan and the majority of the game is now unplayable due to shutdown servers. What's interesting is that they shut it down after just a year. So, not a success I guess. 2017 Initial D Arcade Stage 0 So, we have completed the loop and we're back at the start again. Zero is the latest arcade stage still played by many people on emulators. 18 courses and 56 cars, amazing graphics, story and controls, this game is definitely the best of the arcade stages, although some may disagree. If you're one of them, let me know in the comments. And while you're at it, you might as well subscribe. And after this video ends, you can check my other evolution video, which is aimed at the evolution of drifting games altogether. But only after this one ends, of course. Twenty twenty Initial Drift Online Yes, I know, I know, I know, this is NOT an official game, but I want to include it. This is a game I started making videos about. It's an unofficial game that vaguely marks the start of the fans taking control into their own hands. As Initial D fans haven't got an official game in a super long time, they of course started making their own games. <laughs> this year also saw a huge influx of fans into Initial D, and I myself watched the anime in 2020. 2021 Initial D The Arcade This game is fairly popular and focused on player versus player battles down the toges. Unfortunately, it was never released outside of Japan. Again. 2021 Initial Unity Yes, another unofficial game. I just think this game does the indie game thing perfectly. You can do time trials on any course and with any car available, perfecting your technique and learning from an opponent's ghost. There are also PvP battles which are hugely popular. This game is actually free on the official Initial Unity Discord and I'll leave the link to it in the description. And that has been the evolution of Initial D games. Like and subscribe if you liked it and don't forget to check out my Drifting Games Evolution video as well. Bye!